So my area of research is called statistical physics. And the idea of statistical physics is to try to understand the behavior of a huge physical system, but only having as an information the interaction between the small constituents of this system. So there are many physical phenomena that falls within the range of uh, statistical physics, but the one that I work the most on is called uh, ferromagnetism. The idea is how do you explain why a magnet is actually attracted by a surface or a magnetic field, or why it's not. And it's a very difficult question because if you look physically, a magnet in some sense is kind of made of a huge number of small constituents that we call dipoles. And the way these dipoles interact with each other is very complex. But what you can do is that you can do a mathematical model. It's kind of a caricature of what is happening. And this caricature, in the case of ferromagnetism, it's called the Ising model. So what is the underlying idea in the Ising model? Well, imagine a huge, huge system of, of dipoles. It's very difficult to understand exactly the state in which the dipoles are. So instead of trying to do that, you are going to simplify your task by only looking at the probability. In some sense, you look at what are the typical states of the system. And by looking at probability, instead of looking at kind of trying to determine explicitly all the details of your system, you simplify your task as a mathematician greatly. Now, once you have said that, you have done only the first step towards a very long uh, uh, trip. Because it's not that if you just look at probability, become, things become just trivial. They are still complex. And there are degrees of complexity. So for years and years and years, there have been thousands of papers that were dealing with two-dimensional magnets, if you want, two-dimensional easing models which is not the dimension of real magnets. Our magnets are three-dimensional. So in recent years, I tried with my co-authors to study three-dimensional magnets. That's where the second area of my research appears into the game, which is percolation. Percolation has nothing to do with ferromagnetism. It's actually a theory of how water flows through porous medium. Like imagine a porous stone. And it's a, it's a theory, it's a mathematical model again, probabilistic again. This time you kind of model your stone as a random graph, as we say. And by using the theory that we developed for percolation, we could prove new things on the Ising model. It's a typical example of what you do in mathematics, which is building a bridge between two areas that before that were completely disjoint.